In the Mix is presented by California Pizza Kitchen. Visit them today at the Holiday Resort Hotel. Hoffa day, everybody. I'm Sabrina Salas Matinani. Welcome to another episode of In the Mix. You must have been under a rock if you didn't hear about BJ Penn being on Guam. Pictures of the prodigy were all over social media with him meeting people and training with people on island. And of course, your girl got some one-on-one -on -one time with the champ. He's got the chop. He's done. It's He's one of less than a handful of UFC fighters to have ever won multiple titles in weight classes. BJ Penn is the former UFC lightweight and welterweight champ. He's a UFC Hall of Famer, a fifth degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and the first American to win a gold medal in the World Jiu Jitsu Championship. But for a couple of hours at Paradise Premium in Tumon, he was my trainer. We started with a warm up. Do you work out every day? Or I, I mean, work out. You know what? I work out for like anti-depression and like to feel good, you know? Yeah. That's why I work out. Um, it was hard for me to continue working out after I retired because mm -hmm. I was so used to working out for an event, yeah. you know? But uh, now I just work out to be happy. From the treadmill, it was on to my nemesis, the dreaded Stairmaster. As he was explaining his typical warm-up routine, of course, my dork would slip out. Usually when I come to the gym, if I'm just gonna hit a little cardio, I'll go five minutes on the treadmill, then I'll come and do five minutes on the Stairmaster, and then five minutes on the bike. Uh -huh. I'll turn it up real high to... Oh, oh. oh. What was that? Okay. Sorry, I was oh. like... Oh. It's okay, it's I'll gone, right? Yeah. <laughs> that could happen at any time to all of us. Okay. Okay. After our warm-up, it was time to get the party started. BJ Penn's Fight Gone Bad workout. Mind you, the modified remix version. Joining us was Guam MMA legend, world-class wrestler, and founder of Submit International, Melker Manabusin, who was serving as our official timekeeper. Keep in mind, BJ Penn's Fight Gone Bad workout consists of three rounds of one minute of wall balls, one minute of sumo deadlift high pulls, one minute of box jumps, one minute of push presses, and a one minute row. This for a total of 17 minutes. The Bremix version, yeah, no, just one round of each. Three, two, go. No, shoot. Yes, come on, good form. Okay, bend down, bend your legs, throw it up. <coughs> Excellent. Good work. Don't forget your squat. Just keep your form. That's it. Don't go faster than perfect. Don't go faster than perfect for right now. Halfway, halfway. Perfect. Don't worry about your speed. Just keep going. Don't give up. What is 15 seconds? That's nothing. Come on. Oh, this is going to change her. Her whole training is going to change after this. I feel it already. Three, two, go. Let's go. One minute. Throw it. Right there. Use your body. Use your hips. There you go. Good, looking good. All mental right here. All mental. Mental celibacy. Got this. What's 30 seconds when you've been through labor? Let's go. I was asleep. <laughs> Can I get water? Huh? Can I get water? No. Let's go. This is the fight gone bad. This ain't the fight gone good. This is the fight gone bad. Go. Be safe. Yep. Don't go faster than perfect. Two. Let's go. Three. Two legs together. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's get those legs good. Now we're talking. Love it. I love your heart. Let's go. There you go. There you go. Love it. How much time? How much time, Mel? 30 seconds, you got this one's 30 seconds. Last 10, last 10, Sabrina. Use your arm, one. Use your arm, two. Use your arm, three. Three seconds, three seconds. Five. Okay, come here. Can I get water? Yes, hurry up, real quick. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. you're not supposed to, but we're letting you slack. Come on, this is about how you handle it. 
This is it. This is that threshold where this takes you. Whether it's sports, real life, stressors, business, you're lifting that threshold. Wait a minute. Shake it off, shake it off. Shake it off. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Watch your face. Be safe. Hold it up. Be safe. Yeah. Go. As many as you can. As many as you can. What's 15? What is 15 seconds? Nothing! Glory lasts forever. <laughs> And we're done. What? I ain't getting like, yeah, you did good? What? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or we're just getting you ready for the next no, round. No. We're getting you ready for the next round. Yeah, yeah. you got to do two more rounds. Yeah. Just kidding. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. So now that you put me through hell, it's your turn. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, you just scared me now. I thought I got the better of you. <laughs> No, first, you know, I've seen all the pictures that BJ Penn's here, he's on Guam, but wh wh why are you here? Why'd you decide to come out? I mean, I've heard stories, but... Yeah, no, i just visiting some old friends, and uh, we come and me and Milk are doing some private lessons together, and just hanging out, I really have a, you know, when I get to Guam, it's just like Hilo, actually, it just reminds me exactly of Hilo, and... Uh, Never uh, felt more home when I've been someplace. So I just come and see some old friends. It's been 15 years since I've been here, and I just had to come out and just enjoy it. And now coming back, because last time I came, I was in my 20s. Now that I'm, I'm coming back, it's like I, in 40, I can kind of look around, and I'm like, man, this place is just so beautiful, and just so good to be here. You know, awesome. I read somewhere, it was just, matter of fact, just maybe like four or five days ago, a reporter had asked you, about uh, the possibility of returning and you had responded somewhere along the lines of well if they find me a match I could win <laughs> so, so having said that is there somebody currently that you you see I could beat him oh or is there somebody that you know what I want to I want to rematch um geez I um I think I don't know, I was at the UFC the other day, uh, UFC in New York, a small little UFC, and I saw a guy fight there, his name was Nick Lentz, and I, I think I could beat him. <laughs> they call you, um, like, I, like I mentioned earlier, they call you the champ, they describe you as one of the best MMA fighters of all time. You know all the hype, right? So, how would you describe yourself? Oh, me, you know, I, I'm a, Half, half full, cups always, no, no, cups always half empty type and I always just keep trying to look for the next thing to keep me interested or keep me motivated. I'm pretty shy actually, once I get going I, I can talk, I mean you put me in, uh, like I gotta talk to thousands of people or talk to a bunch of people, I'm real scared but I just get up there and I go, well I'm just gonna go tell my life story and if I can't do that then I shouldn't be on the stage anyway. And <laughs> that's what I tell myself all the time. But yeah, I am, I'm shy, and, but I love training. I, it's my whole life, I love working out. I love, you know, um, not like beating people up, but I just love like, you know, the whole thing about it and knowing how good I am and what techniques I know to uh, do it. Cause it's just like you're skateboarding or surfing, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's fun stuff. I, I don't know, but besides that, I'm just a father and a son and, you know, just trying to do my best. A taro farmer, I love taro. Love to make poi, love poi. <laughs> and that's us, that's us right there. Who's your hero? Um, jeez. Um, thinking now as I get older, I think, you know, cliche, but I've got your parents as you get older. My dad is, my dad's a little older now, he has Parkinson's and stuff, and we, uh, Hang out like it's just amazing. That's why I want to do better for him too. I want to, as he leads, I want to simply see like, hey, I'm still here. I'm still doing good. You know, I, you know, I didn't just have a, like a lot of like in the beginning like championship fights and stuff. Like I'm still here, 
can uh, still healthy and still, you know, want him to know that. Although BJ's retired from the UFC, he still travels the world as a brand ambassador with his former rival, Matt Hughes. And if you didn't get a chance to see him while he was on island, don't worry because he plans on returning. Well, we we're talking about hosting a lot more clinics, uh, clinic when we get back or something, some kind of okay. free self-defense seminar for the, the whole town. Right. We're going to do something because when I first came, I know the Wow, everybody's so tough, so competitive. The jiu-jitsu schools, you know, how back in the day they were all getting into it and really wanted to come and maybe do like a friendship seminar for free, have everybody come in, martial artists, civilians, everybody, and uh, I'm gonna set something up and just everybody have a good day and have a friendship seminar. And uh, it's just, it's good to see, but I, I know the, the situation is everybody's, uh, all friends now, which is a wonderful thing, and that's what martial arts does. It brings us all together. <laughs> is there any final comments you want to say? Uh, oh, yeah, just uh, for Guam, I to say thank you guys to people Guam and just love Guam and just love being here. And uh, I don't know, it's just always a good, always a pleasure to be in Guam. Uh, thank you for taking time and kicking my ass and all. Thank you so for thank pushing you. through. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and as my videographer Carlito said, the struggle was real. It was a little embarrassing, but I had so much fun. If you ever get to meet BJ Penn, he's coming back, like I said, in about a couple weeks. Make sure to say hi to him. He's a super down-to-earth guy. Stay tuned. We're back with more In the Mix after the break.